Hey everybody, my name is Ahmed and I'm a personal trainer and the owner over at Lotus Fitness where we want to see you move and exercise pain free. Today we're going to talk about exercise strategies to help you manage your ankle pain. And if we're talking about the ankle, we need to talk about the foot. The foot is very complex. There are 26 bones, 33 joints, and over 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments. When you think about it, it makes some sense as to why this area is filled with all of these muscles and joints that help us move because we're bipedal beings that need to get from point A to point B and just imagine all the different terrains and the ways that our feet need to move so that we can control the forces that are coming through our feet and through our bodies. If you're starting to feel any pain or discomfort, or if you've been feeling pain or discomfort in your ankles, maybe that's stopping you from enjoying the long walks that you'd like to have with your dog or with your family, and that's taking away from some family time. Or maybe it's affecting you at work and affecting your ability to earn an income if you're somebody who stands or walks around a lot for work. Today we're going to talk about strategies specifically meant to improve the endurance and the strength of these muscles in and around that foot and ankle area so that you can get back to doing the things that you love or get back to being at work without any pain or discomfort. So without further ado, let's get started with the exercises. For these exercises, you're going to do two sets of six seconds, or if you're somebody who's a bit more experienced, you're going to do 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or maybe even 40 seconds. All right, everybody, for this first exercise, you can do it either seated or lying down, whichever floats your boat. I'll show you both and then do the one that you'd like to do. If you're doing it seated, I especially like to do one foot at a time. I like to put my heel right on the surface that I'm sitting on, and then I like to leave some space between the bottom of my foot and that surface. So basically, the starting position looks like this, and then I'll bring my, my toes towards me, bringing the top of my foot towards my shin and I'll hold there. If you want to do this lying down, it'll look similar like this. From a lying position, you're going to bring your toes and the top of your foot towards you. All right, everybody, for movement number two, again, you can do either seated or lying down. If you're doing it seated, you're gonna start with your feet completely flat on the ground. From this position, you're going to dig your toes into the ground, letting your heels come up off of the ground and you'll hold that position. Or if you wanna do this lying down, lay down just like so, and then point your toes as much as you can, and that's that. For movement number three, you're going to start sitting just like this, and then I'll show you what it looks like one foot at a time. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your foot and you're going to move it outwards, okay? So I'm basically keeping my hip in place, I'm keeping my knee in place, and then from here what I do is I bring my toe closer down into the ground, letting my pinky go up towards the ceiling, and I hold that position. Here's what the standing version of this movement looks like. Same idea here, you're bringing your pinky toe up towards the ceiling. Movement number four, you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna let your foot come inwards and so what you're going to do from here is you're going to take your pinky toe, bring it as close as you can to the ground and try to bring your toe up towards the ceiling and it'll look like this. Standing version of this movement looks like this and you're holding that position as you could see as I'm doing on my left foot over here. Okay, so here's another foot one. I made sure my toes were clean. So from this position, you're going to basically scrunch up your toes and then you'll hold that. All right, guys, this one might look a little funny, but basically we're going to extend our toes and it looks like this from the side, just so you get an idea, take your toes, Splay them out, bring them up towards you. All right, everybody, for movement number seven, you're going to turn your foot inwardly. So it would look like this. Whereas there was one movement where I said, bring your foot inwardly, it looked like that, right? Imagine my hand is my foot right now. For this one, it's different. As opposed to this, it's more like that, okay? So uh, I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna bring my foot a little bit back. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to bring your foot inwardly just like this, or you can do it a different way, a lot like that. The foot is coming inwards, inwards, inwards. 
Number eight, we're gonna do the opposite of that. So now we're gonna turn the foot outwardly. So if I'm holding onto my knee here, it's the foot that's going outwardly. And then same thing, so you can do this just like this. The foot goes out, foot goes out. Imagine your toes are staying as one unit as you turn your foot outwardly. For the ninth and final movement, you're going to do any version of a single leg standing. So one way to do that, of course, is like this and stand on one leg. Or you can just shift your weight onto one leg and hold that position. Or you can hold on to something if you have a pole or a chair and you can hold this position just like this. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is Ahmed from Lotus Fitness. We hope that this helped you. If you want to talk a little bit more about some of the pain or discomfort that you're experiencing and you want a conversation about if we can help you, then please just reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you. I mean, we really care about the way that you're feeling. And if you want to have a deeper conversation about some of the stuff that's going on, feel free to reach out to me. You can book a intro call over at the link in the announcement sections if you're in the Facebook group or go to lotusfitnessny.com to book an intro call there. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.